Hey there Stampers, it's Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com. I'm here with another edition of Make It With Maggie. So today we are going to do some coloring with markers and a blender pen and some watercolor paper. This is really fun and easy. I love this little image of the hedgehog with his little hedgehog snow friend. And this comes out of the Best of Snow set, which is the best of set for the month of November 2013. So let's jump in. So the first order of business is we're taking baked brown sugar, which is eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold it in half. Baked brown sugar is one of the in colors for this year. I'm going to take our bone folder. Next we have a piece of Island Indigo, which is five and a quarter by four. I've embossed this with the Argyle embossing folder. And we're going to take some Raspberry Ripple Ribbon, which we're going to, one of the colors we're going to color part of the scarf with. And we're just going to lay this across here. I love this stitch satin ribbon. Love, love, love it. I keep almost knocking off my pens because I'm right on the edge of my table here. I'm trying something new. So I'm normally leaning in far too far and then my short little arms, dinosaur arms, can't make it. So I'm like... <laughs> Anyways, that's probably more the information that you need to know. Next, we have a deco label framelit cut out in Coastal Cabana, which we're going to use. In so to do our hedgehog, we are going to stamp it in Jet Black Stays On on watercolor paper. There it is. There's our cute little stamp, which is falling off the block. And then we are going to go ahead and cut it out with a circle framelit. And I've already done all that to make this speedier because I really want to focus on the coloring. So the reason we use the stays on is so that it doesn't run when we're using our blender pen and marker. And the watercolor paper means it will move around a little bit nicer. So let's get started. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the markers, thick line means brush tip. Thin line means that. I know. Some, everyone else seems to know that. I didn't know it for a really long time. So I'm just going to color the back of my hedgehog with my brush tip and just take your time coloring is supposed to be relaxing and fun I'm just gonna go around his scarf then we're actually gonna do his belly lighter and that's where our blender pen's gonna come in to just break up the color a bit and I'm by no means a master colorer let me tell you coloring is where it's at though it's gonna finish off his feet Now we're going to take our blender pen. Let's make sure it's clean. We're just going to pull this color over here to make it a little bit lighter. So we've just got a, one shade lighter. And again, we'll pull it here. And look how easy that is on the watercolor paper. And then we're just going to blend this a little bit to get all the little bits. And then we'll clean our blender pen. So that's probably all we're going to use the blender pen for is just for his belly. Oh wait, no, we're going to use it for the snow. So to do the snow, we're going to take the brush tip. We're just going to go along the edge here. And that doesn't look very good, does it? Well, wait, the blender pen's going to fix it up for us. That's just going to give it much more subtle. You can pull it out to the edge. You can pull it down a little bit further. There, it does not look so much better than just that ugly line I just had. Now let's go ahead and color the rest. We're just going to use the markers for this. So we're just going to do the Nose of the Snowman in Pumpkin Pie. I tell you, it's like, it's not pressure coloring on a video. I don't want to make it too long. We're going to color the snowman, the hedgehog's scarf in Tempting Turquoise. Just know I probably wouldn't go this fast. I was just coloring this normally. It's on this nice bright pop of color and then we're actually going to do our snowman in raspberry ripple and island indigo picking up the same colors from the card I 
And we're just our last bit is that island indigo. And we're actually leave our snowman just snowman will just be the normal color. I just kind of lost my train of thought there because I was so busy. I'm into my coloring. Kind of forgot I was doing a video for a second there. So let's put the rest of our card together. So we're gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals, add it to this. You can see that was my wrong attempt, so I just flipped it on over. Uh, Etc. I love how the circles coordinate with the deco labels. It just gives a real finished look. Oh, you can see I have a fingerprint on that one. And voila, there is our finished creation. I'll zoom out so you can see that better. And there's our sweet little hedgehog and snowman friends. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that coloring. If you have requests for things you wanna see, hit me in the comments below. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. So let me know you like it and that you wanna see more Make It videos. And you can also hit subscribe. And finally, my very last parting words. If you are Canadian, I would love for you to pick me as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I know you have a choice. And you can visit me over at ilovepapercrafts.com to shop 24-7 for a stamping fun century to your door from Stampin' Up. Anyways, have a fantastic day and thanks for checking it out. Bye.